Hello, basketball fans. Great matchup for you tonight between the Florida State Seminoles and the North Carolina Tar Heels. Number five is a sensational player who can be counted on to give us some highlight reel material tonight. This youngster is an offensive machine. He's got a nice jumper and isn't afraid to go hard to the rack. The Tar Heels will have to utilize his skill to the fullest potential, Dick. The Tar Heels should be able to play a lot of bodies tonight, Dick, as they're highly favored on paper. But what are the keys for them to win? Tonight, the keys are pretty simple. Number one, don't allow any good looks from beyond New York. Challenge every shot. Next, reward your big man for running the court. Get him some easy buckets in transition. And lastly, it's imperative that you win the battle on the boards. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Gave it up. He puts up the three ball, sinks it. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. From way outside, got it. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Good fake. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Look at that. That's unbelievable, baby. On the outside, the power forward with the ball. On the dribble, gives it up, and the ball goes out of play. Full house. And a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. They look to get it to the inside. Kicks it out. Kicked out from down low. It sticks. Looking for a good shot. Trying to go inside. He lets it go. You betcha. Applying pressure. He pump fakes. He comes away with it. Number 22 is pretty fired up and excited. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. Big man spins, draws the foul, and gets the basket. He's into it. Win, baby. That's his name. I like that in a player. Welch steps to the line for the first time. He gets it to go. The screener takes a big time blow setting that pick. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Trying to feed inside. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. They get out on the break. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker, elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestle. How much fun would that be? Working it around the perimeter. And now they'll bring it up. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Shooter spotting up on a three. The ball goes out of play. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. He shoots from outside. Drains it. Check him out, Brad. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. 
I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He shoots from long range. The Tar Heels have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The Seminoles have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Gave it up. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Moving it around the perimeter. With anticipation defensively. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. High post screen, gonna use it. Lobs it, jumps in. Gotta make that baby at that wide open angle. Have a chance to lay it on the glass for easy dudes. For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nessler. Nice to have you along with us. The small forward gets the ball. He hits the shot. Inside. He launches the bomb. They let him get into a rhythm. Dumps it in. The power forward takes the feed. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Controlling the ball. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> and off the mark. Turns it over. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. He shoots from the top of the circle. Nice touch from the outside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He does the sweet fake shot, trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Hard foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He goes to the line for the first time. Dick, you talk about school of history. UNC definitely ranks among the best. All the great games, the great players, you look up in the rafters, all you see are Carolina greats of the past. Hey, Brad, it's really amazing. The memories are endless. Time to pick up the defense here now. Now they work it around the perimeter. He fires from long range. Great shot. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. The shooting guard takes the pass. A little frustration right there. The point guard gets the pass. He pulls the trigger. The Seminoles have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Yeah, he's on fire. <laughs> we 
for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Here's the trap. Picks off the pass. Fast break opportunity here. And a slam. They work it around the perimeter. Looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Takes the pass in the paint. Trying to draw some contact. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. The ball goes out of bounds. Watch out, Dick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. Working it around the perimeter. Pull up jumper from way out. He can't stay with him. He's got to get some help from his teammates on D. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking for a good shot. Launches away. It's good. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Tries for two, gets it to go. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. Thanks, Aaron. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. On the dribble, gives it up. Nice move with a face-up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. They work the perimeter. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Dunkaroo. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so's the defense, and they do a nice job. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Off the rim and no good. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. For the bucket, they still don't score. He'll kick it back outside. The crowd is definitely doing their thing. Listen to the chant. Well, ultimately, the goal is to win. The crowd feels as though they are a big part of it, too. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He lets it fly. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up, and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen.
Dickey's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. He didn't waste any time attacking the basket. The Seminoles have a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? Sweeney in the paint. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. The Seminoles have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding them the ball. It's simple. Number 50 is receiving a lot of support from the fans. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. Puts up the shot. Way off target. Looking for the foul. And he scores despite the hack. Stolen away. Defense got it after knocking it loose. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipate. With a great block. Got a wide open look. He unloads a three. Sinks it. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense. It's a hoop and a foul. He showed good concentration on that possession, Brad. At the line. Makes the foul shot. Defense all over him here. High post flasher is open. He's got a nice shot fake. Gave it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He that shot usually creates momentum and opportunities. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Here's the three ball. Sinks the shot. And they scored eight in a row. The Tar Heels will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. Picked out of the air. Only one basket away from the crowd being absolutely thrilled. From downtown, he is just lighting it up there. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Let's get ready to resume the action. On the outside, he attempts the three. The Seminoles have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Tries a three. He gets the shot to fall. And a 
Another turnover. We're not talking about the turnovers either. Goes up for two. There was no doubt about that one. Picks off the lazy pass. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. For two, perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you've got to get help solved. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Tries for two. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their poise is beginning to fade. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. Aaron's right about that, Dick. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times you have a great post play. you got a chance really to win. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. On the dribble, gives it up. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The post flashes up high if he wants it. For the bucket. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Stop and pop. The Seminoles have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The Tar Heels have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They run it up into transition. Goes up for two. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> right in the circle. Off the rim and no good. Off the mark. At the half, the Seminoles are down by 16.
This ride's been interesting, Richard. What's your highlight of the half? This trifecta was the key for me, Brad. It opened up the game in the first half. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep up the outside shooting in the second. Well, it looks like the teams are just about set for the second half. Let's get back to the action. North Carolina is shooting very well from the floor right now, Dick. They're getting good looks, man, and they're not letting them go to waste. That's how you win games, man. Offensive execution. Start of the second half, Dick, our focus player update. What's he got to get done in the second half for them to win? I would run them off screens on the right and left. I would set up screens and have them pop out to shoot that trifecta. Steal. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots from left of the circle. He knocks down another bucket, Dick. This kid's got skills, Brad. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. Too much. That's a foul. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Gave it up. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. For two. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. The center has gone wide. Welcome to Chapel Hill, baby. He wants a three. He's taking too many unnecessary shots, Nick. And he's costing his team their rhythm. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Number 42 fakes the shot. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Come with a double team to stop it from the top of the key. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Nice move with the face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. They'll work it around the arc. He intercepts it. Lewis handles the feed. And a momentary look from three-point land. Way out on top, controlling the ball. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Takes away the pass. And the ball goes out of play. In the paint. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. On the outside, 
The Seminoles have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Shot goes up and in. Hey, there's just too much space. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. There's a double team waiting there. The ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. They strip them in the basketball. I got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Look at that spacing. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Puts up the tray. The Tar Heels have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. Up and inside. Outside jumper. Nice shot. Nice high post screen. For three, the Tar Heels have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Daddy's on fire. Tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. The Seminoles trail by 17. Takes the pass in the paint. Fakes the shot. For the bucket, the Seminoles have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Gave it up. He blocks the shot on the dribble, gives it up. He looks for the bomb. Florida State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. The ball goes out of bounds. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few in your team and they're active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. He better get rid of it. He shoots. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. There's the trap. With the fake. Throws it up from downtown. The Seminoles have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. They 
working around the perimeter. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. And the Seminoles trail by 13. That wide stance and the drop step. I tell you, it's all about angles, and if you utilize that drop step, it's like a reverse pivot move. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, and the real extension. He sure does, Dick, and why not? He and his team have all the momentum. I can't wait to see what unfolds next. He's saying, get up, people, get up. High post player flashing. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Picked off, gave it up with a quarterback pass. Florida State are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. The turn of fadeaway jumper. I tell you, uses the ball really well, too, in terms of putting it to the deck, turns, spins. He's got every move in the book. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. Isn't it great, Brad? From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Puts it up. It's good. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. ACC, one of my favorite conferences. Year in and year out, one of the most competitive conferences as well, Dick. Hey, witnessing some good old ACC basketball here. These ACC teams are known for their up-tempo, fast-paced, and aggressive style of play. Very difficult to keep up with them. Jumped in front to take it away. Unloads a three. These three balls are hitting from everywhere. That's right, Brad. I saw one come from the hot dog stand not too long ago. <laughs> now they work it around the perimeter. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. It sticks. The Seminoles are trailing by six. Looking for a good shot. He puts up the tray. Tickles a twine. That right there is exactly what they expect from him, Dick. Hey, Brad, he's what I call a PTP, a prime time player. When the spotlight is on, he usually performs. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. He gets it to fall. Take a look right here. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locked in on the box. On the outside, jumped in front to take it away. For the bucket, easy one. We'll get another look at it.
Dick here in the second half. It's time again for our focus player update. And what have you seen from this young guy here so far in the second half? I tell you, Brad, he's playing well, but his teammates have to really elevate their game. He has elevated his. He's showing why he's a PT beer. He shoots from downtown. Great shot. Nice fake. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. They move it into the front court. Goes up for two. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. They'll work it around the arc. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Fake. Fakes it. For the deuce. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Moving it around the perimeter. Double team now. Bannett blocks the shot. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. In close games like this, Brad, offensive and defensive execution is very important. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. And all the way on the baseline, now the kick out. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Ten on the shot clock. Easy one. That one's definitely worth the second look, Brad. On the post, turnaround jumper. I think a defensive stop on this possession, Dick, will have this crowd just roaring. As it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Here's a double team. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. On the outside, picks off the pass. He attempts to jump hook. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. On the inside. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Drips in clean. Transition opportunity coming up. Goes up for two. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Here they go into the break. They just can't seem to miss. They've had a serious struggle with their shooting run. Gave it up. 
Gets it back out. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. From three-point range. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. There they come with a double team to stop it. Up and inside! He launches a three. Three balls paying dividends tonight, Dick. That's right, Brad. All their bills are getting paid from the arc, baby. Working it around the perimeter. Intercepted. There's the pick. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. For two. Rims out. There's a double team waiting there. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. We got a timeout on the floor, and with that, let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Looks like we're ready to step back out onto the court. That bucket cuts the lead to one. I told you there was a lot of time, Brad. Picked out of the air. The Smith Center is in complete chaos at the moment. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. out on the floor. That shot makes it a one-point contest. Hey, it's anybody's game, baby. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Number one is trying to get the fans involved now. You know, Brad, I think he wants the crowd to support him on his defensive possession. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The center takes the pass. Ten seconds on the clock. Comes up empty. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Might see a little different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. And we're back to a two-point game. They 
took a big gamble that time to come up with that one, Dick. Hey, this is what I love about watching these guys. They know they needed a steal, and they got it. This team is something else, baby. And the clock stopped with a foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I'll tell you one thing, he was sensational. He made all big shots. He really wanted the ball. I thought he was very aggressive offensively. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. North Carolina wins the game. They expected to be the victor. They just didn't expect it to be this close. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.